अस्सलाम वालेकुम डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई होप एवरीथिंग इज़ फाइन विद यू आई एम साइमा तनोली विद द सेकंड चैप्टर फॉर सिविक्स एंड द टुडे द टॉपिक इज़ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल डेवलपमेंट 1947 टू 73 दिस इज इन योर बुक ऑन पेज नंबर 23 टू 26 constitutional development in that we will be going through the historical outlook uh, on the constitutional development from 1947 to 56 before that uh, what is constitution ayn kya hai it is the fundamental law of a state without which the state cannot function even for a single day so it is compulsory to have a constitution it set rules about the organs of the government In the previous lectures I have told you about the four elements of the state here we will be dealing with the three organs of the government uh, they are legislature that is the law making body of the state of the government executive uh, the one that implements the laws which are being made by the legislature that will be your prime minister and president and judiciary that will be in interpreting the laws uh, that are uh, being made and implemented constitution defines the composition of the organs of the government how they interact and work in harmony together it set rules about the relationship between the people and the government because the administrative policy of any country is reflected from the rules and principles applied to the administrative and social setup so that shows us how the government will be giving certain laws and certain policies to the people to follow constitution making in pakistan after the creation of pakistan on 14th august 1947 we were in dire need of a constitution at that time the government of india act 1935 was adopted as the interim constitution with a few amendments interim means temporary for the time being so that was the time that this uh, government of india act of 1935 was taken as a uh, temporary constitution of pakistan a constituent assembly was established Kaid Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah was not only the governor general but also the first elected president of the constituent assembly of Pakistan he wished that the assembly should complete the task of making a new constitution as early as possible Kaid Azam did not live long to see his dreams come true he passed away in September 1948 Constituent assemblies held its first session on 11th August 1947. Objectives Resolution 1949. In March 1949, Constituent Assembly gave the guiding principles for making the constitution. This resolution was adopted by the assembly on March 12, 1949. The salient features of the objectives resolution are the resolution opens with the words in the name of Allah it affirms that the sovereign sovereign authority belongs to Allah almighty alone but it will be exercised by the people of Pakistan according to the principles of the holy quran and sunnah it ensured that Pakistan would be a federation that it will be having a central government with the federating units the principles of democracy jamhuriyat freedom azadi equality barabari tolerance bardasht and social justice adal shall be fully observed as we are a muslim nation so we should be following these fundamental uh, basic principles of islam and the future constitution will be laid on these guiding principles equal fundamental rights were given to all the citizens of pakistan no matter whosoever will be the citizen 
of the state of Pakistan be a Muslim or a non-Muslim, he will be given equal rights. It declared complete independence of the judiciary, of the executive and the legislature. Although these three organs of the government will be working in harmony and in collaboration with each other, but at the same time they will be independent. And especially Adliya ki azadi bahut zaruri hai. The promotion of the backward areas was preferred. All the minorities shall be given equal rights and opportunities. I told you that whosoever will be the citizen of the state of Pakistan, he can enjoy all his rights, his culture, his religion, but as long as they are not jeopardizing the sanctity or the security of the state of Pakistan. Endanger na kar dein Pakistan ki salamti ko aur baka ko apne kisi mazhabi tehwar se ya kisi aur vaja se wo apni azadi ko enjoy kar sakte hain. Basic Principles Committee. Now, what was that? This Basic Principles Committee. After the objectives resolution, we can say that the objective resolution was uh, a big achievement. It decided the character of the state. It is an important document in the constitutional history of Pakistan and it was included in all the three later constitutions of 1956, which is constitution of Pakistan was made in 9 years later, 1962 constitution and the third and the last 1973 constitution. After the adoption of the objectives resolution, the Constituent Assembly appointed a Basic Principle Committee and it was interested with the responsibility of framing a detailed document about the basic principle of the future constitution. The committee submitted an interim report in 1950 and it was done during the era of Liaquat Ali Khan. He was the Prime Minister at that time. This report was criticized and condemned throughout the country and the people were not happy with this uh, report. As a result, Liaquat Ali Khan withdrew the report and invited the people at large for further suggestions. In response to this call, the leading ulema and men of learning unanimously formulated 22 points which were presented to the government on December 22, 1952. These contained useful suggestions as to how to frame an Islamic constitution. Ye different ulema hai aur unhone ye 22 nakat diye ki humne kaise apni ek Islamic constitution banani hai. Kyunki Pakistan bana hi Islam ke naam pe tha to humara jo ayin hoga that should be totally enfolded in the with the spirit of Islam. The 22 points of the ulema were incorporated in the directive policy of the of the uh, prince, directive principles of the state policy. At that time, Khwaja Nazimuddin was the second governor general of Pakistan after Qaid e Azam, as he was the first one. He was later made prime minister, and Mr. Ghulam Muhammad took the office of governor general. Khwaja Nazimuddin was a simple and sincere person and he left no stone unturned to execute his official and political responsibilities. He focused on constitutional development process but at the same time he also introduced Urdu as to be the official language of Pakistan to which the Bengali lot and the West East uh, wing that was the Bangladeshis they were not Bengalis they were not happy. So, this was some of the reasons that ultimately in 1954, the then Governor General Mr. Ghulam Muhammad dissolved the Constituent Assembly in 1954. Before that, he elected uh, Muhammad Ali Bogra in 1953 as uh, the uh, Prime Minister of Pakistan. The Second Constituent Assembly came into being in 1955. Chaudhary Muhammad Ali took over as the Prime Minister in 1953. As I have told you, no general elections were held to elect the new Constituent Assembly. At that time, uh, this uh, Chaudhary Muhammad Ali, he gave a formula which is also called the uh, Muhammad Ali Bogra formula. He was uh, the Prime Minister and 
one of the very important prominent uh, parliamentarians of Bangladesh and his uh, this formula was very much acceptable uh, through this formula it consisted of 80 members for 40 from each wing jo do wing the jisme aapka east pakistan aur west pakistan aata hai east pakistan is today's bangladesh and west pakistan is today's pakistan it tackled two most important issues one was integration of four provinces into one unit yani jo west pakistan mein hamare four provinces the unko one unit mein laya jaye and second one was framing of the future constitution aage ki jo future constitution hai uska banana formation of one unit act it was approved on 30th september 1955 it was implemented on 14th october 1955 all the four provinces in the west wing was amalgamated into one province inko ek province mein join kar liya hamare char jo subay the hence there remained two provincial do aapke provincial wings ho gaye and one central assembly that is the uh, provincial wings mein aapke east uh, wing and the west wing so this is uh, all for today inshallah in the next chapter we will be doing uh, the constitution thank you